By age 25, I was so sick. I was just sick. I lost or certain organs in my body. I was kidney infections, UTIs. I could not breathe. Um, I was just going to see more doctors because of that. That's how mom. That's how my mom started. So I figured I will continue. So I'm in the United States. So must be better system, better doctors. Welcome to What I Meant to Say. I'm your host Wendy Jones, founder of Be Better Media and a mom of four passionate about human connection. Throughout my journey, I have experienced many what I meant to say moments. But since life doesn't give us do-overs, I've created a space to reflect and tell our stories again with a little more grace for ourselves and the hope that we can help others and be better for having listened. Welcome to What I Meant to Say. I'm your host, Wendy Jones, and I'm here today to have a really exciting conversation that you all are going to want to hear about with Inessa Honomerio Vaite about CBD and health and lifestyle and the way that her story has led her to develop a brand that you are all going to want to learn about. Um, So thank you so much for joining me today, Anessa. I'm excited to dive right in. Thank you so much for allowing me to share the message and of course to educate the audience today. Yes. So I have a very health-minded audience and I'm excited for you to share you know, how your story, um, your life story led you to develop um, Nessa's hemp and what this, you know, wh- where did it come from? Where did, where did you start? So let's just, let's dive right in. Yeah, I think there's a lot to the story. And um, a lot of times when I do interviews, people say, oh my gosh, I need to write the book. There's not even hour, not even two minutes enough. Uh, but I will make it very, um, I'll, I'll give a very short version of the story. But I just want to say this, that Nessa's Hemp is not just another brand on the market. We're not trying to promote the products here at all. Uh, I'm not into, I don't believe in uh, pushing the sale. I believe in educating for people understanding. And I truly believe for the audience or anyone out there, never depend on anyone, including information. So that means you should be free. And when I say free, I'm talking including supplements. You know, your body should be able to produce everything itself. And you should be able to get your food and nutrients from your food. And if you're depending on something, I'm not a fan. I'm always pro. I'll support the body to a certain extent until you're healthy. And when you're healthy, you should never depend on anything, right? Because we're not we're not meant to, to depend on anything. So yeah, my story. Um, I'm just like everyone else, except um, I saw so much pain. I've been in lots of pain and uh, the pain started when I was actually 12 years old and my mother did not know any better. So she was following the system, taking me to the uh, to the white coated doctor that has a lot of diplomas on, on his walls. And she says, this is my daughter. She's sick and give us a solution. And the only one solution he was able, able to give it to us was the antibiotics. So I started my early age with antibiotics and uh, rounds of rounds of antibiotics, sometimes even two, three years straight on antibiotics. I had major UTIs. It turned out to be kidney infections and you name it. Of course, antibiotics led me to more uh, health conditions, actually. So, but long story short, is by age uh, 25, when I was already in the United States, I was going through a lot of hardships in my life. And when I say hardships, I'm talking about real hardships. I wasn't just struggling with money or something like that. I was truly struggling. Uh, My life was in danger uh, from the multiple angles and situations. Like I was targeted by human traffickers. My ex was also, you know, I was in a situation where I had multiple order protections um, and I lost my identity. Um, I didn't lose it. It was stolen. So I could not even prove who I am in this country. And I had no status. So I couldn't even buy the car, go to the job. So I had to really figure out how I'm going to make it. It wasn't easy at all. But I'm very happy and proud. Uh, Not pride, but proud because... Um, every struggle I really turned into the the powerful uh, moment, which is today world is in a better place because of my struggles. So um, with that being said, you know, by age 25, I was so sick. I was just sick. I lost or- certain organs in my body. I was kidney infections, UTIs. I could not breathe. Um, I was just going to see more doctors because of that. that's how mom 
that's how my mom started. So I figured I will continue because I'm in the United States. So it must be better system, better doctors. But, you know, they didn't do any different. They just really did the same thing. They put me on more medications and those medications didn't, didn't help. I became resistant. They put me on steroids and it got to the point where steroids didn't work. So I was just a number one visitor in ER consistently. So, again, I feel like a lot of people can relate to that because... All of us have certain struggles in like vicious cycle where you don't even know where to go for solutions because you feel like it's just never seems to get better and in fact, it's just getting worse. So sad, but I decided to, to look really in the, my whole life picture from outside. And, and I said, this is, can be my life. And I just looked at the whole picture and said, let me track, let, let me put some facts on the paper. So I really start putting my, my life on a piece of paper. It's like, this is me. This is when I was born. This is what happened to me. This is all, all the solutions I ever took. And this is where I am today. And I said, but I really never tried anything outside the pharmaceuticals. And I said, what if it's, it's out there? So I simply started brainstorming and asking people questions. And that led me to certain suggestions, they, uh, changing the lifestyle and things like that. But Long story short is I was able to discover the, the holistic wellness. I, I did not go very deep, but I did change a lot of stuff in my lifestyle and in including my sleep, my water systems, what I was eating, who I was surrounding myself with. I quit alcohol completely. So that led me to one year uh, I was completely reversed. All my disease was gone up to today. I've been healthy. Nothing has been affecting me at all, including flu, anything, anything. I'm just, that's it. I don't even know what feels to be sick. Besides your own mindset, was there a health professional or some somebody, a lifestyle coach, anybody that guided you or were you just using your own intuition? My own intuition and truly, truly like um, when somebody would say, try to do just some juicing or try to stop dairy. Why do you, you want to eat meat? So, you know, I started educating myself here and here, but you know, I was so busy to really fixing my life uh, challenges where I was just happy I'm getting better, <laughs> you know, like, I was just like, I'm just going to stick with whatever works at this point because there's no harm to it. Uh, there's no side effects, you know, to changing. And, and it was really beautiful to see how within the first month or so, I was able to see some improvements and I got excited. And I just sticked with it and I, until I was able to completely reverse everything. Yeah. And so what are some of those particulars of like turning to that? The Because I, I hear like a you, cleaner lifestyle, right? I mean, you're, you quit alcohol, hydration, nutrition. What are some of the particulars that that you think were really the game changers for you? The game changer happened a little later. But okay. what I did, um, I just, when I see hydration i have always i ask people definition especially now like that's why the cbd industry started in my life uh, when you say hydration what are we talking about because if you're talking like a tap water even taking a showers in tap water i mean this is bad news our illinois tap water is actually under lawsuit by monsanto so um you know indiana is under lawsuit by monsanto um, you know, the Iowa is under lawsuit by Monsatan. Monsatan is actually about to pay $5 billion in actual settlement uh, that because they released the deadly flesh bacteria in all of us. And in the meanwhile, your big loving government tells you you should be hydrating yourself with this very precious, you know, water. So when people say drink water, I always say which water because 95% of the, of the water products on the market are absolutely dangerous. So, you know, just understanding the difference in water was a huge thing for me personally, because even the bottled water, you would be shocked. I tested all of it. I was so, when I started learning that stuff, I was just so excited to go in Whole Foods and start, you know, picking each bottle, sample of each bottle and just testing what's in that water. And I was just shocked, like reality kicked in. <laughs> wow. So, I mean, when you talk about water, that is like, a, you know, the life force, right? We all need it. What, what do you tell people? How, do, how, how do people seek out what's, what's safe and best for their bodies? 
So it took me a lot of years and eventually a lot of dollars uh, to just discover the right water and understand how the molecules are structured and how our bodies really absorb and how many angles are in the water and which angle needs to connect with your cell. So there's a lot of information just on the water. I probably can talk seven days. Yeah, I know. <laughs> We have to come back. We'll have to do a deep dive on each one of these. I want to hear about, um, you know, the CBD and and the transformation that you've had there. So, I, I know there's there's a lot when you talk about health, but I'm on I'm on track with you as far as we are not getting the right information. So the reason I am so excited to have these conversations is to get that truth out there because it's hard to get out in the current media environment. So. The power is yours, and yeah, my I'm all ears, and I know my listeners are too. Amazing! It's impossible. What I was telling about the lawsuits, just go back to the water for another five seconds. That that information is nowhere. It's absolutely nowhere. People think in SR, what are you talking about? It's like yes, I literally had a few dinners with the attorney who's about to get the settlement for five billion dollars for that water. So I know the facts are facts. But sadly, this information is nowhere on for the public eye unless you go and investigate yourself. And someone who's very busy living this lifestyle, how are you going to go and, you know what, let's just try to figure out if there's any lawsuits under the water. Like nobody's even come up with these ideas. There's so much happening behind the scenes. There's so many lawsuits. There's in, in order, by the way, to have a settlement, that means somebody, which is an attorney and his law firm, uh, which is 300 attorneys, they need to prove a fact that everything what was what was actually going against them on Satan, it's actually a fact. That means they were saying as a claim that that water causes cancer. That water causes brain disorders. So now I'll be talking about the public water that people shower. And as I said, like just that topic itself, I can go on and on. But going back to CBD. <laughs> Yeah, so, they're, they're coming yeah. after us. Though. They're coming after us from multiple fronts. And if people think that they can just take the information that comes to you in the newspaper, on the news from your government, you're being disserved. So I, you know, yeah, I, I agree with you. Like I said, just, yeah, keep telling your truth because I'm right there with you. Yeah, we fight really hard and uh, super, super hard. But with that being said, I was able to really settle my life and eventually my health got better. I felt like, oh my gosh, now like I'm like my own star of my own life because I can finally breathe. I can, I can, you know, go to the bathroom like a normal human being. I was just so happy and blessed. So that led me to final success when I was going through in life because that gave me more life force to fight my current situation that time. And what happened, um, you know, I was truly asking God, what's my purpose in life? Because when I really got everything settled, I said, this is, can be true. This is, can be my life because everything looked good on the paper, but wasn't serving my purpose. I was like, you know, I'm sure there's a lot of people out there feeling the same way. They go on a job, they have a good paid job. They have no problem pay their bills. You know, it's kind of, everything is nice and settled. And it looks good on the paper. The neighbors are kind of jealous of your lifestyle. But then in the inside, you know you're dying. And it's not the physical die. It's like emotional. Where you're like this bird that your actual wings are tied together and you can't fly. That was the feeling I was going through. And I said, if this is, can be American dream, that's because I just really settled my life. Nice apartment, car good job building business on the side, working so many hours and like health is perfect. Finally like, got my status in the country. And it's like, I'm not going to live this. This is not for me. Like my wings are cut. Something is wrong with me. So I just was asking, what's my purpose? What's my purpose? And after one year asking, what's my purpose? I got the best phone call ever, which is my mom in Lithuania. And she told me that she actually got cancer diagnosis and 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 six months left to live and that was the best day ever changed changed my life and changed the entire world actually so as she was telling me on that phone call that morning it was seven o'clock in the morning in the united states she told me daughter I have six months i want to see you we need to see each other somehow because you live you know far away she said, like, I don't know where to go. I don't know what to do. And I'm literally, as she's speaking, I have tears of joy. 
because I was praying for the whole year to know what's my purpose in life. So while she's speaking, I'm seeing this beautiful vision of my mom being completely cured from from the cancer with no pharmaceuticals. And then I'm seeing thousands of happy, healthy people around my mother that are complete strangers. And I see this beautiful, beautiful vision and I truly have tears of joy. And I'm like, mom, I said, this is the best day ever. And she's like, <laughs> she's like, have you lost your mind? <laughs> she knows I'm not on drugs. She knows I'm not taking any medication. She knows I'm not drinking. She knows I'm mentally stable. She was really wondering what's wrong with me. So she simply decided to FaceTime me because as a kid, I used to sleep, walk, and talk. So she knew it's morning. So she figured she probably is talking and sleeping and, and whatever. So she FaceTime me. It's like, mom, I'm in the kitchen making my shake, ready to go work out. I said, I want to let you know that you right now should be turning the music on and going to dance and celebrate because your cancer is saving thousands of lives and <laughs> she's like what's going on she's really confused because she knows i'm not sleeping and talking and walking and so long story short is uh i feel like she was really confused but as of today we laugh from that day you know we laugh with my mom consistently it's like do you remember it's like i do it's like you just like so what happened is I left the country the same day. I um, I called my boss. I said, I'm not showing up at work. He said, for how long? I don't know. And I just since then never slept again. And then when I say I never slept again, I've been on three hours sleep, four hours sleep this entire week so far. So I did not sleep again. I spent 27,000 hours on cancer research uh, globally. Uh, I was able to help my mom. She was cancer free. Because I always know the cancer is curable because of my own situation. I was able to have this assumption that cancer is curable. There is just no enough intentions out there. Or, you know, the pharmaceuticals are too much getting paid and they just don't want to give up their pockets. So I knew that was the case, but that was never enough for me to go and fight for all the cancers out there until my mom got cancer. So when she got the cancer, that was the moment where I really went deep. And I, I just spent all half of my life, I guess, um, all these hours on the cancer research. And until today, I, I've been working with people. And because of my mom, I was able to save thousands from all kinds of conditions, not cancer only. So, um, yeah, I have actually extremely critical case right now. I'm helping him. He's a nine year old boy uh, in the Houston uh, hospital. He was just given very few days left to live two days ago on Wednesday. Um, family started the protocols that I customized on Wednesday night, Thursday morning, today's Friday. Um, and he already seeing improvement. And this kid have two, two centimeters growing in his brain each week or every 10 days, I'm sorry, something like that. So tremendous fast grow cancer, but as you see, when you do something, what's well, right from the body, body's going to respond. So, so far we have an amazing start. So I will ask all the audience to pray for the beautiful, uh, kid. He's out there in this beautiful documentary created under his name as of right now. So, um, yeah, so it's a, it's a big deal. So yeah, but as I said, like it wasn't for my mom, even this kid. Today, the family had only one option to go after they spent a lots of money, not hundreds of thousands, but close to millions of dollars on the kid. And we already seeing improvement in the last 48 hours, like improvement, improvement, not like some slight improvement, like improvement, improvement, like he's no longer in pain. His headaches went away. He got his color back. He's finally slept for first night ever all night without any nerve pinching and everything. So yeah, it's, it's happening. So it's real, but as I said, you see, this is just a story for this week. There's like thousands of stories I participated with, but again, thanks to my mom's cancer. Thanks for me to realizing that I'm looking for my purpose. I think it's very important. And I became, I guess, this holistic coach and whatever you call that, holistic medicine coach, right? Yeah. And, and someone like that always 
I have this huge responsibility to always know what's in the products. And I knew the essentials of the CBD. And I'm sorry, not the CBD, CBDA. <laughs> CBD is okay. one, actually. Okay, so break that down for me. The difference between CBD and CBDA, or what's the relationship? I will. But one thing before I will do that, I want to share a very important message. Okay. A message you're not supposed to hear, especially on the main street. So the audience is going to learn something probably new. Um, all of us are born with this beautiful, it's called endocannabinoid system. That endocannabinoid system is responsible, just like imagine one little guy or big guy, responsible to regulate all your systems in the body. That means when you are born, you produce your own cannabinoids. What is the cannabinoids in that sense? Cannabinoids are basically almost the same thing as the plant produces, which is, again, we have to have a definition of the plant, right? Because there's like, that's where the whole problem kicks in. So what happens is we, as God's children in this universe, producing those little cannabinoids that are fully operating and keeping us going through our lives. But then we get older, <laughs> which is I call, then we get exposed to the government's agenda, like toxins, stress, oxidative stress, and we start losing that production. That means we need to empower, just like put the gas in the car, empower ourselves with additional cannabinoids since we're losing our own. As of today, federal government still is not regulating this industry that is completely essential to us. We can't live and function with these cannabinoids. We are like a cannabinoid ourselves. People say, Nessa, are you trying to tell me I'm like a plant? Yes, you are. <laughs> Sorry, your system in the inside, there is a system that mimics the plant and it is working like a plant. But then again, there's definition of which plant. So this is what happened. Thousands of years ago, we used the hemp plant as a raw material, right? And it's never been like, uh, makes you high, high levels of THC, nobody smoked. Even Jesus was actually washing people feet with canna. He was giving people canna. So he was healing people with canna, just cannabis, right? But again, the problem what happened is that 100 years ago, they decided to remove this from the market, became illegal but just we understand why. And they genetically modified all the seeds out there. So all the cannabis seeds right now have those high levels of THCs that makes you actually high, cause you that, you know, side effect that I'm so against that. So, and, and what happened is, so we lost the track of original plant. That actual original plant never intend to make you high. We never had, that was government's agenda. That's under this beautiful plant. They said, oh, you guys want holistic medicine? Here we go, take it. But then they took it and they created a completely different Frankenstein and gave it to us as a holistic, beautiful plant medicine. And it's not. Give us original plant that actually was on this earth for millions of years. We don't need your laboratory made genetics. Mm -hmm. so that was the problem number, it's still the problem number one. The second problem is in the industry, and that's what people don't know is. And I find out only because I need, I really needed to have the best quality CBD product for the clients and the people that I work with, because I knew how essential for them to have that, even if you're sick or you don't sick, or you're not sick. So what happened is I decided to travel all the companies that are marketed and literally physically walked in one by one and investigate what's in there. Like how they testing the products. I pick the samples myself and send it to the laboratories to, laboratories to figure out what the lab reports are for real are. Not the ones they gave it to me because I know labs faking the reports too. So they can be, you can be loaded with mold and, and the metals, which is called, all Colorado products are loaded with metals, by the way. Wisconsin is having problem too. So 
I'm like, I really need to know what's an insight. I can't take a risk on someone who's already sick. So with that being said, after I investigated all these companies, I discovered since there is no regulations in the industry, uh, it's like a bogus industry. It's like, no, it's existing, but doesn't exist. It's that's how it is today. If FDA, you're going to ask the FDA today, the way we asking, like what the guidelines we should follow. Are we food? Are we supplement? Or what we are? And they say, we are still in discussion. They say what not to do, but when we ask them to justify what not to do, they can't tell us. They don't know what to tell us because there is no category for this thing. It's literally like thing floating in the air. And I'm not allowed to educate you about your own essential endocannabinoid system because if I will, you're going to empower and most likely you're going to be off the drugs. That means half of the country will be off the drugs. And if the half of the country will be off the drugs, that means we're going to lose half of the economy because this this country makes money of pe- people being sick. Absolutely. So the fun part is about to start. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, we're deep in a hole and it feels so help. You know, I hate the spot where you feel helpless. And I know that you have the empowering part is coming so yeah let's hear it (laughs) the empowering part is that um when i discovered in my investigation process traveling the country and physically visiting everybody i discovered that first of all there is no cbd in the plant it's and if you're gonna go on the smart google smart google gonna tell you that cbd actually is a drug patented by Food and Drug Administration as a drug for epilepsy. It's called Epidolix. And if we have something like this patented as a drug, must be not natural. So because you can't patent nature, you just, it's impossible to patent spinaches or plants or trees. So as we know, hemp plant is a natural in its nature, but CBD, it's a drug. It literally, it's in a drug category. So now that's where I couldn't wrap my head around. And I'm like, what's going on? So I decided to study the chemistry in the hemp plant and what's really in the hemp plant. And when I find out there is no CBD, there's only CBDA, THCA, CBGA, all those cannabinoids that cannot be patented, cannot be owned by anyone, and they're thousand times stronger and more effective than any CBD product on the market, I realize what's going on. So the real hemp power that is actually super potent and strong and powerful cannot be patented it's quietly sitting suppressed while the whole market is flooded with the drug. And pharmaceuticals allowed it purposely for a lot of people to understand and know this drug because it's like free marketing. Now everybody knows about CBD and pharmaceuticals will pull the trigger back, which is they already started this year, and say, you guys are promoting our drug. All these companies are going to vanish because that belongs to pharmaceuticals. That's food and drug administration and people are selling it. Business owners. Mm -hmm. And they're not even getting commission from the food and drug administration. Eventually they're going to get pulled back, which is what's happening right now, started in January. Yeah. Well, you see, and and now the whole world is focusing on that. But what happens is the CBDA is the original thing. It's that's more important. That's more, more strong. It cannot be controlled by anyone except us people. And the most important is the healthy version, right? Only if your plants were grown. So I will talk one more thing where people really need to understand. Hemp plant is truly only one plant you can sustain your entire life, including your, your driving, your household, your clothing. You can clean your soil. You can uh, feed your your farm, whatever you have animals. Uh, you can also use this as a medicine. Uh, and also you can use this as your superfood. So it's only one plant on this entire earth can sustain you in every aspect in your life. So if we grow this hemp plant for medicinal purposes, 
we have to be extra careful because hemp plant has additional benefit. It's a soil cleaner. It's the best soil cleaner. So what does that mean? It literally sucks and grabs every single toxin from far away, including air and soil, and grabs it and holds it. So now just imagine imagine nettles and toxins and mold and everything. If it's everything grabbed and the hemp plant, just like a sponge, holds everything in. And if that plant was given to us as a medicine, we gonna we are going to die. Like this is very major issue. So with that being said, in order to grow these plants um, healthy, you have to be extra careful. And because there is no regulations today, no one, that single one company, and I'm calling out the Charlotte's Web because they own the largest market share, mm -hmm. and that single one company today is growing these plants actually healthy. So that's why I saw this whole industry and I said, this plant, first of all, is not a drug. Nobody even talks about CBDA, right? And then the way it's grown, it's on the top loaded of all these toxins. We're absolutely causing cancer, neurological issues, gut issues, autoimmune disease and everything. So your medicine that is essential to you been actually changed to the form where it's becoming dangerous. And that's exactly what we have on the market today. Not 90%, not 95, 98%. So how do people, how do we change this? Like how? Education. I already tried to change. I tried to walk into laboratories that are actually testing these products. And I promise you from bottom of my heart, I have no intentions here except to educate people. But I can tell you this. As a company who cares about people and it cares about their struggles, I used to call out laboratories and say, I have positive for mold. Can we do some, you know, some cleanup on the labs? It's like, did you send us a sample? It's like, not yet. Because I do, because my, my, our products are beyond clean. Like nobody can even match our lab results in America today. But I'm just trying to say, it's like, I would test these companies, the laboratories that are responsible to give us the real data on these products on the market. So you know what they would do? say, oh, it's just going to cost a little extra. So they would make your lab results to look the way you want it to. Yeah. So I got so upset. Then I got so excited to call everybody and figure out how many labs are willing to change their lab results from, you know, from actual false to, uh, to, to, to false to positive. So I literally called it out all of them mm -hmm. and all of them willing to adjust the lab results. So the laboratories are not even willing to report the data. They're just going to sell you for a couple hundred bucks. So you think you have that nice piece of paper that says you have no mercury in your product? Good luck. Your laboratory got paid to give you that nice piece of paper. And there is no regulations to keep these people accountable. Because there's no guidelines what the guidelines we need to follow. That means we can do whatever we want to do. Unless you care about people. And you want to stop the pain. So people say, Nessa, how are you going to stop this? The only one way to stop this is for you to know. When you're going to stop purchasing these deadly products, you're not going to support their business from the moment they're going to start struggling with money. That's the moment where you're going to say, well, what happened? We maybe we need to start growing a little bit cleaner. Maybe we need to give something better for people. Yeah. Well, and that's, I mean... I'm really connected to the entire regenerative farming movement, to the way that ev everything in this country, it feels like such a tidal wave from the soil quality to the water quality to all of the things that you're describing and what we're asked to put in our bodies every day just to eat and drink and sleep and the clothes on our back. I mean, everything feels toxic at this point, right? I mean, if you're really paying attention. So that is such an overwhelming feeling and if you're if i mean it's one thing when you've been confronted and god forbid when people are confronted with that cancer diagnosis but how can people start to get better a little bit at a time where do you recommend they go to find like that source of hope or what can, what can we do 
Um, education is number one. Number two also be also I offer the program where we completely transform your life, guaranteed a hundred percent, not ninety nine, like hundred percent guaranteed. Uh, we get to the point where be able to reverse people's gray hair, like back to normal. We have a 65 year old in the group right now. And I saw him on Tuesday night that that he really dyed his hair. It's like, why are you putting the toxins on your hair? It's like, what happened? What's wrong with you, Paul? It's like, what do you mean? It's like, did you just dye your hair? It's like, I didn't see you last week being so dark. I mean, when he started the program, he was gray. And it's like, no, this is my natural hair. So he completely reversing his, his gray hair. So. Be, be, I have a ways to help people. So that's not a problem. Is somebody, when they seek for help, they're going to have help. But for majority, for the masses, for 300 million people, if they're not going to wake up, be in trouble because I know what's going on in the soil. I developed the first biological soil in the United States. So I had to take care of the, um, you know, the chemtrails, make sure those are not landing on my soil. Because I wanted the natural sunshine, I had to figure out how we're gonna feed the soil that is natural. There's other things I done. I I I don't want to discuss because it's it can be dangerous. But um, we develop that soil, and you know, farmers are just you know happy. But not all of them, as I said, it's just such a tough because I also understand the farmers that are trying to survive, and I'm trying to push them. But at the same time, there's so many and the big money is buying the land right now. So we do have, trust me, I'm so aware of these issues. Oh my goodness. I am participating in almost every of those aspects myself in the water farming processes. I'm I'm manufacturing product myself. So again, I know everything about this plant from the seed to the soil, to the sunshine, to the everything, to the finished bottle. So when it comes to the hemp plant, we personally, our products are produced where you can actually have like a, it's called batch number. So when you take this batch number, each bottle is actually labeled with the most extensive testing in the United States and parts for billing. So I offer $10,000 for any company in the United States who is billing to do exact same lab testing, pages of pages of, of lab testing. And then single one company wants to take my $10,000. That single one for somebody, I literally offer $10,000 for free because they don't have to even pay for testing. They just have to do exact same lab. This the one I beat you. It's been years. I'm waiting for somebody to pick up 10 grand and nobody wants to do it because these companies are loaded and I'm not here to smash the companies. I'm here to, for you to know you have the most beautiful endocannabinoid system. Don't get tricked. Empower that system. Okay. Uh, empower that system because you can function without. It's essential organ in your body. And yeah. government doesn't want you to know. Uh, doctors don't even know. If you tell doctors about endocannabinoid system, they can't even understand what word are you saying. Their job is to educate you. Their job is to put you on a clean product. Their job is to empower your system so you get, your, get yourself off the pharmaceuticals. Yeah, and it but works the exact opposite. <laughs> you know. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, and, and you can see it. it. Americans are, it's all connected. It's mind, body, and spirit. And, and what you see out there right now in the health crisis, it's, it's eclipsing a place that nobody ever wants to see it go. But it's so hard to find this information. So when people come to you, if they come to your website, um, if they try to find you, what, what, do, what kind of things will they find there that can help them? So when it comes to hemp product, as I said, I don't have to speak. The product speaks itself. And if you don't even trust, and I suggest you not to trust my word because I wouldn't trust anybody in these days. Mm -hmm. So, but open the lab results and, and those are pages of pages. Each bottle is tested. So any person that holds the bottle, purchases the bottle, they can physically go and check everything about this bottle on the website. Mm -hmm. So be the data by actual laboratory that failed my test because I asked them to fake the lab results and they said there's no way in the world they said we're losing 40% of CBD companies every month because they're asking us to, to, to fake the lab reports and we're not going to fake it I said you know what you're going to be my best friend forever and that's how I end up working with this company because 
the only one company were willing to do only what's right and you can purchase them. You can offer billion dollars, million dollars, hundred dollars. They're just not going to take your money. They're going to report in your product as it is, period. That's it. So we actually work with this lab that is, it's very expensive, but we're doing it anyways. So, um, so people, when it comes to product, I can ensure you, but again, don't listen to me. You can you see it yourself. There's a third party that does not fake the lab results. So that's, that's the, that's the product part. But when it comes to the health part, we do offer the program. It's called Regenesis369.com. So if you go into the Genesis369.com, you can register yourself in less than 10 seconds and you can actually leave your first and last name and there's going to be a team contacting you to set the presentation, what Regenesis is about. And I'm the one who's running the presentation. But as I said, we offer 100% guarantee. Like if you don't get the results, we'll pay you times 10. That's, that's how it works. I never ever worked with anyone. There was no results. And I'm talking about all kinds of conditions, anything you can possibly imagine. Wow. I mean, what types, I mean, can you give me a couple of, of examples that you've worked with? I know there's a lot of Epstein-Barr, a lot of Lyme disease, all those things that are out there. You hear these words and people are, they're unbelievably hurt and can't find, can't find the cure. Yeah, we worked with MS, uh, worked a lot of autistic children. Those are a little bit different situation. Of course, cancer, that's uh, diabetes, one, two, uh, Alzheimer's, um, literally you can possibly, I mean, I can't even think of autoimmune disease. Mm -hmm. Today, I got a request for MS. Um, yesterday, we had two Alzheimer's request. Each day is different day. So it's like anything you can possibly imagine. It's really like Lyme disease. We work for those, like everything, like okay. literally anything that's out there, even depression, that's so easy to fix. It's all parasites. And by the way, don't start cleaning your parasites by watching TikTok. Those are monsters been on here on this earth for billions of years. Um, they're very dangerous. They're very strategic. They release the actual mind control, especially when they go to your nervous system. They can control your brain. They can tell you what to do. I have tons of evidence on that. Tons of evidence on that. So be careful because people come to me crying and saying, that's how I done parasitic cleanse. I was perfectly great for six months. And then it was so bad where I don't know what to do anymore in my life. The pain is everywhere. It's because you didn't kill them. You just cleanse them out a little bit. And in order to kill them, you need to target all the families. You need to target all the life cycles. You need to remove the metals so they don't hide and shield themselves behind these metals. You need to open the body paths so that you can really release it because some of them are size of my arm. And people say, oh, there's no way I have a size parasites of my arm. Yes, you do. Like, of course you do. I never seen anyone not having any parasites. I really did not. People argue with me. It's like, there's no way I have parasites. Yes, you do. I never seen one single person not having parasites. Wow. Including children. Yeah. And everything's on the rise. I mean, when you hear about, I mean the autism spectrum and all of these things they're talking about and people wonder why. So I, <clears throat> I am really excited to get this out there and I want people to know where to find you. Um, what's the best place to, for people to get in touch with you? I think the two best ways is regenesis369.com or Nessus Ham for the product, Nessus Ham and through the customer service. So Regenesis369.com or nestlesham.com. That would be probably two of the best places to find us. Okay. Well, I encourage people to really keep digging for the truth. It is out there. I thank you for sharing yours. I mean, I can see the health and the passion that you have in your life, and I want more people to have that. So um, thank you so much for connecting with us today. And um, I'm just, I'm, I'm blown away, and I, I, I keep doing what you're doing because it is so so needed out there um so thank you for joining me thank you so much for having me and uh i hope i can provide value and and uh i really would like to ask audience to really start taking care of their health because you're going to be entering sad times and don't panic but when you're healthy and strong you can always make the right decisions in your life so your health must be priority
Absolutely. So come come find that she has she's figured some things out that pe- more people need to know. So thank you for joining me on what I meant to say today. And I'm just here with Nessa to remind you to be real, be you and be better. Thank you for joining us on what I meant to say. Another production of Inspired Edutainment brought to you by Be Better Media.